This week on Double Bass with the Bass Pixie, we are going to learn how to play Zombies Ate Her Brain by Creepshow. So this song is probably beginner to intermediate, um, unless you're looking at the slap technique where we're looking at intermediate to advanced. Chordally, it's basically quite simple. Um, we're going to do a pattern of just root and fifth, so it makes it nice and easy. If you're a slightly more advanced player, you can add some variations. Um, but we're just going to cover the chords and the slap style. So if you're new to slapping completely, you probably want to pause the video here um, and go and search through my videos for how to slap a double bass. This song is fast and it is complicated. It's probably one of the hardest slapping techniques um, and you really want to be comfortable with that before you start jumping into a song like this because it is quite, it's just heavy going it's fast and it is you need to be really comfortable with your slap to really get to grips with this song so the song's in the key of e the verse is based around what they call a turnaround chordal pattern um, and we're using the chords the the one chord the six chord the four chord and the five chord here okay in a standard turnaround when you play the four chord in the key of e you'd be playing an a major but in the verse of this song they play an a minor chord now for what we're going to learn today that actually doesn't matter because we're just using the root and the fifth and in a major and a minor chord the root and the fifth are both the same notes and um, it's only if you're a slightly more advanced player and you want to improvise a little bit more and take things a little bit more complex you want to make sure when you're playing that a you're playing the minor third rather than the major third so the whole song begins with just a vocal and guitar so as bass players we're just standing and waiting for our little bit where we come in so we come in just at the very end of the slow vocally bit and we come in with the notes B, C, B, okay? And those notes are all just single slaps. Here. It's really difficult to tell exactly what the bass player is doing on the original tune or on the original recording. I imagine if he's anything like me, he's probably improvising and messing around quite a lot, um, bringing his own style every time he plays it, do something a little bit different. Um, but I've watched some videos and I have sort of had a look at the kind of things that he does. Now after this single slap, he tends to go straight full on into a really fast psychobilly slap, which is really cool. So your basic psychobilly slap is you have a pull, palm, palm, okay? And it's just really fast. And the notes he uses is the root and the fifth of the B chord, which is the B and the F sharp here. So when you put that together with the slaps, it goes. Okay, so I'm just going to sing that beginning bit so you can see where those bass notes fall. I'd like to tell a little story about a girl from far away. You might feel bad, you might feel sorry about what happened. So they say. Okay, so you've got four bars of the double B and F sharp. So now we're going to move on to the verse. So the verse is based on that turnaround we talked about. It's chords one, six, four, and five. If you're not familiar with the numbers that I'm using, so I'm saying the one chord and the five of the one chord and all this kind of stuff, go have a look at my video. Um, the number system for chords okay so that video breaks down how we use numbers within chords it helps you transpose and it helps you understand how songs are put together a little bit better and it's an easier way of teaching um, because then we are in the key of E right now but we might be able to play this song in the key of D so if you're a vocalist and a bass player you can transpose it really easily so the one chord is the E and the B is note five of the one chord so that's the root and fifth and we play that twice then you've got the C sharp G sharp, which is the sixth chord. Then you've got A, E, okay, so we're going to use open A and open E here. And don't forget that's the minor chord when we come to the verse. Then we've got the B, which is the five chord. It'd be a B7 uh, for guitarists or anybody who understands sevens. Um, otherwise, this again, it's just a B. And we're playing B and the F sharp here. And then when you do it the second time around, it's a slightly different, but just on that very last B chord. So you repeat the whole verse, and then when you get to the B, you do the same as what we did at the beginning. So it's a B, C, B, and those are just single slaps. 
okay? So let's put it all together with the slaps and we're gonna start out really slowly. Don't forget, if this is still too fast for you, bring that speed down even further. The main thing you don't wanna do is rush it too fast because if you try and go faster than your body's already capable of, um, you're going to actually overall stunt your speed. Um, so you wanna make sure you're relaxed and you're going at a speed that you're comfortable with and the speed will just naturally develop. Don't push it. Okay. Now up to speed. Okay, that's the verse. Okay, so let's look at the chorus. So the chords are a little bit different on the chorus and they're quite interesting. And as I said before, in the verse, the A chord is an A minor. Uh, in the chorus, the A chord is a minor, then it's a major. Okay, so it changes in the chorus, which is really nice because the singer picks the uh, major third of the A chord to sing in the very last half of the verse. Um, so it actually makes it a major chord, which is the natural chord that would fit into this, um, this key. But the minor chord does actually make the song really interesting. And I love, I love that kind of, well, it's the psychobilly feel that it really minor chord brings to it but we are going to play the major in this chorus so we've got chord two chord four chord one chord six in the chorus um which are so the f sharp is the chord two which is the only one we haven't covered and we're going to play it down low with the fifth above it this time so the f sharps here on the e string okay so not the first but the second down and then you've got your C sharp, which is the fifth, and that is on your A string, okay? So here and here. And then we've got the A, which we've done about twice, and the E, and the C sharp, okay? So that A is the A minor, if you want to be going outside of root and fifth, so don't forget that minor third. Um, but if you're not, if you stick to root and fifth, it makes no difference to you. So then after those, you've got the A major chord. So again, it's played exactly the same as the minor if you're doing root and fifth. But if you decide you want to add something different in, don't forget to add the major third into that chord, okay? So the minor third of the A chord is the C, whereas the major chord, major third is the C sharp. Okay, so let's look at those chords again. F sharp twice, A minor twice, B twice, C sharp twice, a major twice and then we have a C with a stop and a B with a stop and the chorus finishes off on that E. Okay so let's put that all together slowly at first and then we'll do full speed. So let's look at that very final chorus and then we're gonna wrap up the song. So on the final chorus, it is exactly the same as the last one, except for there's a repeated section. So, and on the repeated section, it comes on the stops on the C and the B, okay? So you've played your A chord to come into it and you're about to do your slap C and your slap B. But the first two times they come round, because we're gonna repeat that, they are not stops, okay? So we just continue the slap. So it goes, that's why she turned out. Repeat, that's why she turned out. Repeat again, that's why she turned out this way. 
So it goes around three times through the A, C, B, A, C, B, A, stops this time, C, B, and then to finish it off, we just have, okay, four bars of the E with a stop at the end. So it's one, two, three, four, like that, stop on the fourth. So let's just put that final chorus together. I'm going to do it once slowly, and then I'm going to do it up to speed with the vocals, okay? advanced bass player or you have nailed this video and want a little bit more of a challenge you can sign up to my patreon at www.patreon.com slash the bass pixie and there are extra videos for this song to add some variation a little bit of spice um, a little bit of your own style into this song and make it a little bit more complicated um it's really easy to sign up and every single sign up helps me continue making videos for you guys and um, so something I do in my spare time so it really helps me put aside a day or two here and there so I can bring more content for you guys and help create a world of amazing rockabilly bass players so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video uh, if you've got any questions don't forget you can comment below I will get back to everybody and um, don't forget to subscribe give the video a thumbs up send it to your friends whatever give it a good share um, and just keep rocking.